What's going on, Fight Count? This is SJ Sports. Welcome, your faces, back to a brand new video. This is UFC Ultimate Team. We're on episode number 55, and I'm sorry there was no uploads last week. I was aware. Uh, I did try to pre record some videos and stuff, but I ended up streaming for like five hours on Twitch one Saturday afternoon, and that meant that I couldn't record. So I apologize for that. We've got a lot to get through in this episode because rewards are out. We're going to go into Ultimate Team right now, uh, as you can see. We're in season three, new leaderboards, everything, all that good jazz which we like. Um, currently, the leaderboards looking like this at the minute. Some decent fighters, brand new Mac in second. C Jax is in first. But let's go take a look at season two, see where we did finish. We didn't really have that many fights. Okay, so we got we came 242nd, 11 wins, seven losses, which was a little bit disappointing because we got off to a flyer at season two. Um, so we're going to go ahead and redeem our rewards right now. Um, so you come into this, this screen here. There is nothing in your inbox with you regarding your rewards or anything like that. I know some people are struggling to redeem rewards. So what you need to do is you need to back out all the way to the main screen of UFC, and you see this here, then you get the packs here. Okay, so I've got a special reward for the top 100 finish last season. Select this title to have a reward delivered to your inbox in Ultimate Team. So this is where you redeem your awards. So, we came 242nd, but we somehow seem to have gained ourselves a pack which gives us the top 100 place, which I believe is 4 gold fighters, 4 gold moves, and 100k. As you can see, it will put us straight into our inbox right now when the game decides to load. There we go. So I've got the top 100 pack for not even coming in the top 100. I think it's a bit of a glitch. Um, so you can only redeem one at a time, so you've got to go all the way back. Uh, season 2, division, uh, season reward division 5 or higher for last season. We'll enter that in now, which I believe you get... Is it two goal fighters, two goal moves, and 50k? I could be wrong. It's just very, it's all new to us. So that's our Division 5 pack. That's our Top 100 pack. And I don't actually know why we've got a Top 100 pack. We must have got we, we, we must have got lucky there. So again, we've still got another reward to redeem. We need to go back out of Ultimate Team. And we also need to just head over to here, where we get an end of a season reward for Division 4 last season, which I think Silver Fighters, two of them, two Silver moves. And I think, is it 25k or 10k? I can't remember. Um, I have actually managed to open one of these on the PlayStation. What's it doing to me? Why is... What? Season, end of season reward. There we go. I, I, that actually bugged out. Maybe I flicked the analog stick on to purchase UFC points, which... Uh, we don't want to be doing. So we've got our three packs there. However, there is also another pack in store for you to redeem for your participation in Season 2, which basically gives us a reward of two bronze, two silver, or one gold item or better. Uh, just expires in seven days, so make sure you do redeem those boys before um, you go. Yeah, just make sure you check out the store because some people don't know that that's there waiting for them. Um... Okay, so let's. In fact, we'll start off with this. We'll open up this reward right now. Participation. I think you get two silver tokens in this. I think you get 10k, and then I think there's moves and fighters and stuff available to us. We'll see what we get in this. Uh, not too bad. Uh, two silver fighters, which, all right, we'll take it. 10k, certainly take that. And two silver tokens, not too bad. So, two, so it must be two fighters, two silver tokens, and 10k. Um, so that's okay. Once I get my head around the rewards and stuff like that, I will make sure I note them down so you guys can check them out. In the, I'll put them in the description when I do find exactly what the um, the rewards are. So this is Division 4, Division 5 and Top 100. Don't know how we've managed to get that, but hey ho, we're not going to complain, which is great. Um, I know that there's a reward for finishing first 10th. So if you finish in the top 10, you get 8 gold fighters, 8 gold moves and also 200k available to you. Um, and all of the moves, I believe, are from past UFC events that happened while Season 2 was on. So, if we open up our Season 2 reward pack from finishing in Division 4, we're not expecting anything decent in here. Okay, we've got a Haymaker, and we've got Darren Till's lead hook. We've got 25k as well. Not too bad at all. Tim Means, uh, I'm sick of seeing these two guys, to be quite honest with you. On my other account, on my PlayStation account, I've got... I've got those fighters as well. Also, there's the new patches out. We'll talk about that as well. What's new, what's not, what's been added to the game and stuff like that. But we'll take it. I'm happy with that. 25k. I started off with 6k coins and we're already at 41k. We've got our two big boy packs to open. So this here, Division 5, will give us, I think it's three. Is it three? Or is it two? No, it must be two. It's two gold fighters and two gold moves from the move of the night highlights of the week items. And also 50k. Let's take a look at what we get here. I want a nice, decent fire. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's not bad at all. You see how these moves 
uh, uh, from previous events that have been happening in game and obviously in real life. Pennington balanced the 25 years. Cody Cabran, he's a brawler. We got the body up a cut from Tim Means, and we got a necktie sub offense, and we also got ourselves 50k. Not too bad of a pack at all. I would like to get myself a Conor McGregor in the middleweight or a Darren Till in this pack. So in here, we'll definitely get four goal fighters, four moves, and 100k. So we're going to be at 191k by the time we've opened this pack, which is absolutely fantastic. That's brilliant. I am going to save the coins, though, for next weekend UFC event, where we'll, we'll do a little pack opening session. Um, because it's Wicker Romero happening at the weekend, which is good. Right, we're opening this one. Four goal fighters, four goal moves, and 100k should be waiting for us in this pack. I think we got Till. I think I saw Darren Till there. We did. Oh, my God. And we got... Okay, that it's not bad. Look at that. That's great. That's perfect. Like, four fighters there. Couldn't have asked for a better sort of overall sort of fight styles grappler balance striker specialist so down until we will be using him definitely we've got Usman as well balance which i think i've got on the playstation uh, colby covington is a bit of a dickhead i've heard uh, and jacare salsa is a specialist so he'll probably might have to go into a set him i think um okay lead hook we also got a lead hook we've got cody cabrant's hook we've got kamara from daniel kelly and Usman's single leg takedown and there we go big smacker 250 um, so it makes us 100k, which is pretty decent. There wasn't too bad of rewards, to be fair. I've seen better. I've seen a lot worse. I'm not going to complain. I did want Till because now I am literally a Southpaw fighter. Um, I just prefer fighting Southpaw now rather than fighting Orthodox. Just something I got used to because over on the PlayStation, I do have the five-star McGregor unlocked. And now I have Darren Till, but I had, I had Mashida unlocked as well. So that's how it was done and dusted. Let's just take a look at what's new in the patch from the current patch that's happened. Uh, UFC points, you can see the screen's changed. looks a lot more professional. Looks super. It, it looks super slick. It looks like... Oh, it's, it's calling out to me to say, buy me, buy me, buy me. Gives you a top pick and it also gives you the best value out of the two. Um, so that one must get used, 30 quid worth of uh, UFC points must get used quite a lot. And then also we've got the best value, so you get 12,072.99 because I have the EA Access on. It will cost you £80 if you don't have the EA Access. PlayStation users, unfortunately, you have to pay top dollar for your UFC points. But look at that. It looks pretty decent. It looks nice and slick. Um, another change as well, if we go over to sets... Uh, if we go to say craft tokens um, and I just go over to silver token, we'll just quickly craft a silver token. Now before, when you actually selected something, so we're going to select a silver fighter here, uh, yes you can go, it automatically puts you onto the next sort of phrase, token thing that you want, the next move perk, it automatically does it so you don't have to tab right, so when you when you literally push A, we'll do that roundhouse kick, it'll automatically go over to the next one which is the perk. Uh, and then also the boost. You see how easy it is? Very, very easy. It's just it's so much better. Watch me not have a silver token now. Yeah, we do. Oh, we also have a wild card as well. That's pretty decent. So let's change them just to give you an idea of what that is. It's so much better. It makes it a little bit quicker. There is going to be an auto feature coming soon, but we don't know how long that's going to be. Um, but the, it's in the works to say that it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen to do an auto feature. Uh, also, as well, if we go over to a fighter, so we'll just look at the fighters that I've got set up at the present. Uh, we'll just head over to Bisping, we'll go to Customize Fighter, and one key change on this screen, it's taken me a while to get used to. At the top, you no longer have your stats. Bottom left is your stats that you require for that fighter. So, as you can see, I've already, I've, I've actually tokened a move there, but never mind. Uh, speed 91, it's, it's in the bottom left. So, if I go over to, say, Quit right now, which is quite, it's worked out quite well for me. So, if I go over to the lead hook for Darren Till, on the left-hand side is what your stats are currently. And then on the right hand side, when you hover over a card, it tells you what you're going to get. So I'm going to gain 6 on the power from 89 to 95. My speed's going to stay the same. My footwork will go down 1. My accuracy will also go up by 4 to 95. My head movement will also go down to 73. So that's just a little insight to, to how it all operates. I kind of like it. It's a little bit better because you can see what it was before, more clearer than what it was in the last uh the last patch or since the game has been released. I do prefer it. It has taken me a while to get used to it. I'm not going to lie. But we've got some decent moves now going forward. So we'll have to see what we can do. I am going to get rid of Bispin. We are going to have a fight in our... Uh, we're going to do a couple of placement matches, I believe. Uh, I've been recording for about 10 minutes now. Uh, create a fighter as well. Striker. That's got updated as well the other last week. Uh, the guy that does it all, the live producer, he was away on business. And then he came back from his business trip and he fell ill. So he hasn't been around for much. So that's why there was a bit of 
of delay with some of the stuff getting pumped out to us. So I'm going to now go over and I'm going to actually set up Darren Till because I like Darren Till. Look at this here. I've got so many... Um, Got some nice decent fights here. I know Souser goes into a set. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna quickly we'll have a look and I'll show you this guy. Normally I wouldn't show this, but if we go over to seasonal uh, not championships rather, um is Souser for is it Whitaker? Top of my head, I'm not one hundred percent sure. Uh Romero, yeah, so, so we've got so that's good. So we've, we've got Souser, we've completed that one already. Romero, which we could potentially possibly unlock next weekend, which is good. Brunson, we don't have, so we could use our wild card for that. Uriah Hall, we don't have, and the silver fighter Brad. Do we have him? No, we don't we? It's only the um it's only the uh, wild card we have available to us. Um but yeah, we I really do need to start cracking on and getting some um fighters unlocked and doing some coins and stuff like that i think i'll have a day next week where i'll just sit and i'll just do a load of tokens and stuff like that how far are we off conor mcgregor uh, eddie alvarez i know we don't definitely don't have him we don't have diaz we don't have jose aldo neither uh we don't have chad mendez poirier no we don't have him and max holloway i think we don't have either because his account doesn't get played on much what when i play on this account you guys see it so it's like trying to find the balance of getting good stuff and letting you guys see it. I don't want to just flood my YouTube channel with a shitload of videos because that's not the way to go about it because the views will be down, you guys will miss out episodes and stuff. So, um, what if I need to, what I should really do is try to upload five, six times a week. Uh, I need to get my finger out and do it, but because the streaming takes over a lot of stuff as well, um, that's the reason why I don't do it because I stream a hell of a lot. Um, the link for that is in the description below as always. So we're going to open this quickly, open this silver token pack, which we do have three silver tokens now, I know off the top of my head because we obviously got two from our participation participation pack. Um, but that's basically what's changed in, in the menus and stuff, the patch. Um, it's a bit heavily focused on grappling, so we've got new takedowns. So we've got takedowns from strikes. If you have a double leg... Um, takedown apply to your fighter and you have a 90 plus takedown stat on your fighter there will be a new animation for you to try out and it's all to do with timing I'm yet to do it on either account either accounts that I play on um, I think it's it's a little bit difficult to time it but once you time it I think it's something that you'll get used to more and more you do it um, so that's been changed what else has been changed in the patch um, it's been mainly focused on the grappling grappling side of things the stand-up um, forward moving combo so basically what that means is when you're throwing a combo you're holding the left stick in basically your combos aren't going to come out as quickly as what they did before the patch came out so pre-patch they was a little bit quicker they have slowed them down and I think the third strike in that combo whether it be a jab or it be a straight overcut leg kick head kick whatever it may be that also comes out a lot slower as well so bear that in mind boys make sure you take your finger off the stick when you are throwing your combos just certainly um, gives you that little bit of advantage if, if you find a guy that doesn't know what he's doing I literally can't believe I got a top 100 pack like I can't believe I got a top 100 pack uh, which which is great right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unequip all of these here and I'm gonna start afresh and I'm gonna put on my moves with Till and I'm gonna see what I can get with him uh, I'm gonna use moves that I'm gonna try and split it down the middle so we've got six and six so that's 12 um, and when I said about Bispin uh, I realised I didn't actually talk on anything. It was that because Till's got that extra slot because of obviously is a 25 years card. Uh, we'll equip all of these also as well. So only stand up is six and six. The bomb game it does get an extra slot there. So it's, it's these 25 years are so worth it because you're getting an extra slot on the stand up. You get an extra slot on the takedowns, especially or, or the grappling side of things if you are a striker, which can help you out massively so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through these here i'm going to come back with you guys once i've applied these moves just so you guys aren't bored of me just applying them and stuff like that maybe go in the future if you want me to see if you want to see me apply moves and let me know in the comment section below i'd be greatly appreciated so we're going to go for it now and i'll be back with you guys once i've applied right then so we're back with till then this is how i've set him up i struggle to try and get my speed up a little bit there's a few things that i wouldn't have liked to have had so highly but it's still not a bad layout. 90 on the speed, which I would have preferred that to be at least five more speed, but unfortunately we don't have that facility available to us right now. We've got 96 power, 90 footwork, 100 accuracy, uh, 86 block, and 83 head movement. On the ground, we've basically just focused on our bottom game, which is 91. I've had to apply silvers because we don't have any golds um, bottom cards, really. The only one I have is applied in the, clinch, in the first clinch slot there, which you can see. And then also... 
basically grappling stamina is the same as what we had with Bisping. 98 strike, striking stamina and 91 endurance. Okay, that's all good. We're going to show you the highlights of the week as well, boys. We may open up a 50k of these just because of the move in there. That would, there's a couple of moves I would actually like. Um, so the moves... Power leg takedown, looking pretty decent. Lead hook, wouldn't mind. That body knee, I wouldn't mind. Uh, I want the straight, though. Plus six on the speed and four on the head movement from Lauren Murphy. That looks okay. The event did happen last night as well, so I would suspect move of the night items will be out very, very shortly. I might spend up to 150k on them. So 41k, well, 40k on these on packs, actually. Just so, whilst we've got the coins, let's just get ourselves some decent uh, cards. Hopefully we get some decent moves. I think I'm going to do that. Um, I know I said I'm going to save the, the coins for the next weekend's event but why not we had a pack up a little mini pack opening session on this account yet for a while we need more moves we need more fighters for tokens etc uh, and we'll go from there and we'll see what happens we've got a nice jab straight away i've already got a jab gives me plus six on the footwork and plus three on the head movement not too bad uh, not the greatest event packs really we're looking for those those event moves or even the gold fighter um, gold fighters. I think there's three available to us where in highlights of the week it only just shows us one. Let's see if we get anything decent. In this pack we get nothing. Absolutely nothing. Wow. These aren't being too kind to us. We've got a few more we can open. This is good then. This like episode's jam packed. I will have a fight as well. Um, so we've done our reward. We spoke a little bit about the patch and now we're doing a pack opening. Boys, you are being spoilt. We are being spoilt. Like these here, I, I love packing these. But... The moves and stuff like that are non-existent, are they, at the moment? We'll try to open them with, with uh, UFC points. That is not going to happen because we don't have any money available to us. Uh, we've got a lot of coins available to us. We'll go down to 150k, and these packs are absolutely dreadful. They're absolutely dreadful. Now, some of you guys are probably saying, well, why, why are you opening packs when there's a, a, a decent event on next week? Just because making the video a bit more interesting for you. Oh, my Lord. I have not seen that before. So we've got a silver fighter and we've got two, both on the ground, clinch control, uh, plus seven takedown, defense plus three, bottom minus, what, minus three, throws minus one, and sub offense plus seven, clinch control plus three, throws minus three, takedown. Okay, that's not too bad, I'll take it. Um, I've never, I don't think I've ever packed two gold event moves. It's not what we was after. Right, we're going to have this one and then two more after this pack as well. Hopefully we can get some stand up uh, move, move of the night and all. 25 years events. Oh my lord, these packs. We've got a gold fighter. There's there's a fighter that's not actually... Who is it? He's a heavyweight striker. We may have to keep him. We got the straight, which I wanted. Perfect. What a pack. Nate Diaz could have been gold, but he's only a bronze, which EA trolling us there. But those last two packs, boys. Oh my lord. We started off so bad. See, it's been worth it. It's been worth it opening these packs. We're still going to do two more. And I'll keep the rest for next weekend for you boys to enjoy. Um, let's see what we get in this one then. Hopefully we get no, we don't get nothing. We can't complain. We can't complain because we've had some decent, we've had some decent cards in these um, in these packs. I'm not going to lie, they're pretty decent. Been pretty damn decent to say the least. They're doing. Uh, I've, I'm happy with what we've got so far. And again, we've got the clinch. Okay, so we can use that then for a token. So that's our last and final pack. Uh, we'll save the 154 next weekend. Uh, let's go back over to Darren Till. I do want to put that straight on though. I think I've already got a straight applied. Maybe it's a body straight. Maybe I can't remember. Excuse me. Um, all right, let's just take a quick look. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I have the straight on? Haymaker, body uppercut. Right, I need to take off some accuracy if I can. Um, but I'm getting the accuracy on the second, uh, the second slots. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna quit that. Yeah, I've already got the straight. So let me just put that on. Remember Cage Superman punch just for the for the stats. What's that? Um Oh it's there. Footwork. Okay, so I'll unequip that. My footwork's not too bad. It's 83. And then I'll try and put on another footwork card. Um like that there, Cage Superman foot put my block goes down by three, so my block will go down to eighty three. My accuracy goes down to four, but my foot I think that's better. I think that's a lot better, and we're also gaining on the power as well from having that Lauren um, Lauren Murphy and Elsie Lauren Maguire. It's plus six speed, head movement plus four as well. So my head movement's gone up, my accuracy's gone down, but my, also my power's gone up because I've taken off a card that had minus power on it. I'm happy with that. That's pretty decent. I'm glad we've packed that. Um, I know we're only two above our speed, but it's given us... Um, it's not giving us better footwork, but it's giving us better head movement as well. And obviously, it's a move that I would prefer doing. Let me just take up the an Yeah. Oh, that straight looks nice. The animation of that straight looks really good. Okay. 
Season 3 is now open. New season is now open for participation. Thank you very much, EA. That's what we like to see. Right, okay. So, we're going to just search off with Darren Till. Uh, it, like I said, boys, with some of the, the moves... and No, sorry. Some of the fighters that we've packed already that don't go into a set, I am going to token them. I will get my... Um, I will token them for you before I start recording so we have some tokens available to us to open. So I'll try my best to get that done. The only thing that's going to let me down is the moves because we're li limited on, on on gold moves and whatnot. So we're going to see. We're fighting the Belfort. Okay, this guy maybe have packed him in the event packs. Uh, his reward packs, rather, I should say. But we're down till I am now a Southpaw fighter. I've mentioned it in previous episodes. Um, so let's do this. Let's uh, hopefully get off to a good start. In... On my over Xbox account, on my over Xbox account, just while I focus up, I lost both my, I lost my first placement fight. I fought brand new Mac, and then on the, on the um, PlayStation, I lost as well. So hopefully on this account we can start off, we can start off well. Right, I need to try and slip this guy a bit more, work his body as well. He's coming in. Oh my god, that's because I tried to slip him. The overhand. Yeah, I slipped him well there. Okay. I do feel a bit sluggish, I'm not going to lie. I do feel a bit slow. I'm backed up against the cage. And I've not got it. Wow. I can't get away from him, lads. He's cutting off the octagon really well. Right, stop throwing, stop throwing, stop throwing. Oh, that's straight. I like that straight. Right, let's just calm down a bit. Let's work this guy's body. Wow. That's done me. Oh, my God. Right. I can't get away from him. Like, my footwork's decent enough. I think my footwork's in the 90s, but I'm just struggling to get away from this guy. Right, let me just miss down and recoup here. I, literally, I'm struggling, boys, to get away from him. I'm... Let's do the jab and there we go. I've created a bit of space now. The block's weak where it was then. Oh, could, that could have ended us. Work his body, right. As if, man. Overhands has done me. Nah, that's annoying, man. That's annoying. I've lost. I've had three attempts at the new season, and I've lost both fights. Uh, my first fights on my first time on the PlayStation, on my other Xbox account, and now on this account. <sighs> just overhands, man. There's no skill involved in that. GG to him. It happens. Just got to take it on the chin, quite literally. But you know, I couldn't. I couldn't get away from him. I could not get in and out because I was my back was up against the cage for all of that fight. I tried to to rotate out of it, I try to just, I just don't know, sometimes I struggle, like these pressure fighters I really do struggle with and it's frustr so frustrating, like the on you, the jabbing away, I'm trying to slip them, when I go to slip them they'll throw a hook and then knock me out, so we've not got off to the greatest of start, Looney, Coyote, um, GG to you man, that was just unlucky, we're going to go into another quick fight then, why not, um, we'll go with Darren Till, uh, just because that one's a relatively short one, it does like, I just couldn't seem to create the space that I needed. I, I like to go in with two or three combos and get back out of the pocket and then go strike again, two and three combos. But I couldn't do that because my cage, my, my back was literally up against the cage. I had nowhere to go. He did well cutting off the octagon. Fair play to him. I, I, I would love... I would love to know how, how you do it. I, I try to do it myself, but I struggle. I let my opponents out way too much. I think it's because of my fighting style. I'm not of a... I'm not a pressure fighter like like some of the people are on this game. I like to say I like to be in and out, do my do my shit and get out of there very very quickly. Um, so yeah, that poor fight from my behalf, but it is what it is, isn't it? We'll just got to got to crack on with this next one. Forget about that one. Let's get on to let's get a win on the Bruce. Let's do it. Just as I take a quick drink, I've been speaking for half an hour. Oh, this guy's losing overhands as well, boys. Now, I feel like I could do with a little bit more on the speed side of things, especially when I'm throwing uppercuts and stuff. And I would rather have been in the blue corner. Oh, 
Right, it's cool, man. It's cool. Let's just recoup. See, perfect example there. Wow. Right, we've knocked him down. And again, we've knocked him down. That straight is amazing, boys. I would, I would highly recommend opening event packs to get that straight. This is him out here, boys. There we go. Back to winning ways. We lit him up and we complied the pressure. And that's, I love the, an, the animation of that straight. It really is good. It really is good. Let's take a look at it here. Oh no, it was an uppercut, wasn't it, that put him down. I thought it was a straight. It was the one, the knockdown previous to him. Also as well, what's new in the patch as well, I will uh, show you very, very quickly. Uh, we'll take that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, one win, one loss on the board. It's not too bad. It could have been worse, it could have been bad. It is what it is. Um, so, if we go to fights statistics you can see now they've added stun wobbles body health events and leg health events also knockdowns which is good um that's I, i've always wanted that in i've always said to my mate i said why can't they just give us where we stun give us how many times we stun them because there's been fights in the past and there's been fights on this patch as well where i've actually rocked the guy like six seven times he stunned me and wobbled me once knocked me out finished the fight just the way it goes but we are going to wrap up today's episode boys thank you very much for watching I love your faces. We are so close to 7k subscribers on YouTube. I'd greatly appreciate it if you was new around here. You would smash that subscribe button uh, and we'll get up to 7k hopefully in a couple of days time. I think I'm like, at the time of recording, I'm around about 10, 9 subscribers away. So if you are new, make sure you do that for me. Thank you so much for watching, boys. I will see you all in another video very, very soon and goodbye.